Bye, Natalia. Natalia, son. Woo-hoo. Here I am at the Atala Butterfly Garden here at downtown Miami. Designed this years ago with tons of Kunti and Pentas and the Atala butterflies are taking, taking off here. They are everywhere. They love it. They're laying eggs. There's caterpillars everywhere. They're mating. It's amazing. So, you ready to learn how to make your own Atala butterfly garden? Ready to dig in? Let's grow. First off, before we get into talking about the plant selection, I want to thank you for, for clicking on this video because it means you care about the endangered Atala and you want to do something to help restore its population here in Florida. So thank you for doing this. Every little garden space that we provide for the Atala butterfly is going to benefit the species. For an Atala butterfly garden to be truly successful, you must include the Florida Kunti. This plant goes by the botanical name Zamia pumula. It is in the cycad family and cycads have been around for eons. They have been around since the dinosaurs. It's an amazing plant but what makes it super special to the Atala is that this is the host plant for the butterfly. And what do I mean by that? That means that the butterfly will only lay its eggs on these plants. So this makes it indispensable for your garden, for your butterfly garden. Being a Florida native, the Kunti is a pretty hardy plant. It can tolerate drought pretty well. It can tolerate different types of soils, although it prefers a well-drained sandy to loamy mix. It can also do well in full sun, partial sun or even in shade. It's a really versatile plant. It is slow growing. The, the fern like leaves will turn dark green over time, but the new growth comes out typically in the spring and it'll have these beautiful light green shoots of, of new growth. Uh, the Kunti does have a problem with scale. So you do have to watch that once in a while. The plant may get scale and you do need to address that if you do get them on your plants. As to plant size, I recommend using a three gallon Kunti. You'll probably pick that up at about 18 uh, inches tall by about 18 inches wide at the nurseries. And you want to space them anywhere from two and a half to three feet apart. If you do space them three feet apart, they will fill in over time, but you do need to be aware that you'll probably have to weed uh, in between so you don't have competition as the plants grow in. Your Atala butterfly garden is not only going to need a host plant, but it's also going to need a nectar plant. And what I chose for in front of our parks building was putting in red pentis. We do have irrigation, so it does help the pentis flourish a little bit better and flower a little bit more. But you can put in other plants that the Atala is attracted to, such as our native firebush or the native lantana invocrata or our other native, the wild coffee. But all these plants get a little bit too tall for in comparison to what the Kunti will grow. So that's why I went with Pentis. And the Pentis just have just so many beautiful colors. We have the pink and the white, as well as the red, which is what I used in our design. But there's even a purple Pentis available. It's just such a versatile plant, and that's why I chose it. And it also grows a little bit lower than the Kunti, which gave me the bedding edge condition I was looking for in my design. Okay, so here's an illustrative plan of the garden space I created for the Atala. Here you can see in gray is our park's office building. And surrounding that space are the sidewalks that lead into the building. We have an angular walk here and the walk along the parking lot and another angular space walkway that brings you into an outdoor dining area. And out here we have three picnic tables which you can see here. The project limits for the butterfly garden are right here. This large area and a secondary area bifurcated by the sidewalk. This little triangular space here. Okay now on to the design. Before you go into putting in the new plants, you need to identify what you have already there. Here you can see I'm identifying the two yellow poinciana trees growing in the space, 
as well as three large royal palms. There's also an existing flagpole I'm pointing to right here. I didn't show it on the illustrative plan because I wanted the shrub masses to read more clear for you. And speaking of shrubs, here's the layout of the first shrub, Cocoa Plum. I specified 25 red tip Cocoa Plum, Florida native. I wanted it uh, to be 24 inches overall height at the time of purchase, a three gallon container, and I wanted them spaces, spaced 30 inches on center to kind of screen the outdoor dining area. And here's the next plant, the red pentis. I used it to wrap around and hug the kunti in the large garden space. And if you look, I have them specified at 15 inches on center, 12 inch container, but I've also made them a little bit thicker in certain areas to add some dimension to the space. You can do this as well. I specified 88, and in general you can see these are larger numbers. This is a large space. But this is, again, just an example of what I've done here. You can always make your space smaller. You can do a beautiful Atala butterfly sanctuary space with three kunti and a few pentas. So it just depends on the space that you have available at your home. In addition to the pentas, there are four existing Dahoon hollies. You can see them against the park office building. Those are also nectar plants for the Atala butterfly which always helps in any design to provide butterflies with more food sources. And the final plant in our design is the Florida Kunti. We have them in two areas, in the large area next to the outdoor dining area and in the triangular space to the left. We specified them to be in a three gallon container and I wanted them 30 inches apart, spaced 30 inches apart. They grow to about three feet at full, full uh, size. So you want to allow them some room to grow. But as I mentioned earlier in this video, you want to make sure if you, if you do space them at that distance, you're going to have to weed and keep the weeds down because they are slow growing plants. But once your Kunti fill in, in about a year or so, you're not going to have to worry about the weeds because the Kunti is going to shade them all out. And that's about it for the design. One thing I want to show you here is that this walkway is our main entrance into the building and the Atala butterfly is using both spaces. It's laying its eggs in, in the area on the left as well as the right. It's getting the nectar from both the existing Dahoon Holly as well as the Pentis. So there is a butterfly uh, environment that, that crosses through the walkways and it's really just a pleasure, a pleasure to be in that space because they are, they're sharing that space among us. It's really, really, it turned out really, really nice. It took a few years to get there, but it turned out great. And this is something that you could easily do in your yard. You don't have to go at these large numbers. You just need to have a host plant, a, a nectar plant. Um, more than one would be ideal. And you could also put in puddling stations. And I've done some other butterfly videos. Please check them out. A puddling station is an area where male butterflies go to get salts. And you can make one real easy with just a leftover plastic lid. Put a little bit of sand on it. Add some salt and some water and you can tuck them underneath a hedge like what we have up there, a cocoa plum hedge, and that helps attract more male butterflies, which increases the chance for mating and therefore more Atala butterflies. I hope you're finding value in this video and if you are, please consider subscribing to our channel. Okay, now that I got that public service announcement out, let's rotate back into the garden space and my friend Natalia and I are going to show you how well it's all turned out. One thing I also want to note with you all is that our garden space is about four years old. It was, it's pretty resilient because it's gone through one big hurricane and several tropical storms. These plants are pretty hardy. So come with us and check out all the Atala butterflies. Ooh, I'm a voyeur. Oh, they're having, they're making babies. Fifteen chrysalises there, and behind us on the ground are some Atalas right here, doing their thing. We're covered, covered in butterflies. Wish you were here. Yay. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> Thank you.
Look, look, a talib butterfly egg. So cool. And look, look at the Italic caterpillars are everywhere doing their thing. There's one. Look at these guys over here. Look at them. Look at them go. Oh, there's a chrysalis. That's all right. And then there's a mama. There's, a, there's an Italic right there. She's getting ready to lay some eggs. Beautiful butterfly. More Italic caterpillars over here. Yeah. That one looks pretty, pretty chewed up. Yeah, it, no, that's what the caterpillar. This one I can tell that it's coming. Yeah, back. and it'll just bring new leaves out, and then more. Do you see this over here, you all? Look at all these caterpillar chrysalises. No way. There's a bazillion of the italic uh, chrysalises here. Wow, so many. Well, that's a wrap. The Atala and I would like to thank you for stopping by. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Until next time, bye. If you found value in this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We post weekly. Thanks.